Welcome to this week's Video Tech A newsletter on Monday the 21st of April 2008. Tech A is where we look back over the previous history of the key indices of the CAC, DAX, Dow Jones, FTSE, NASDAQ and the Nikkei and we see by using technical analysis how that particular index is likely to span out in the following week. So here we have the CAC, uh, the CAC 40. Uh, one of the things we noted that there was a point of resistance and that if it broke that point of resistance at 4900 there was a chance that it was likely to break above that and move towards the, the main resistance at 5000. This is such a strong point of resistance now that we're likely to see a real slowdown as we reach this point of resistance but there's a potential there for a breakout. If we do get that breakout then we're likely to see moves up to around about 5200. So it's a, a case with CAC keeping a very close eye out on this possible break in this resistance. If it does do that there's a very strong likelihood of seeing a move up to 5200. Moving now on to the DAX. What tends to happen with the DAX tends to follow with the CAC and the, the DAX is the uh, German index, the CAC is the French one. And we've seen that there's been a break in around about um, 6, 750. Um, we've got a very strong bullish candle and then it's moving into this sort of broader consolidation between 6, six 750 to 7,000 approximately, roughly. This is likely to be quite a, a messy period of consolidation. Depends how bullish we are um, or we continue to be. It has been very bullish recently. If we look, just, you know, the very strong bullish moves. Um, we do have a, a strong period of consolidation, uh, but we could get caught up in what and in a midpoint within this consolidation at around about um, six nine hundred, so we have to be aware of there's likely to be a possible slowdown as we start to reach this midpoint within this broader consolidation between these two points. So you could almost see the midpoint being the top of this candle, this very strong bullish bear, uh, engulfing candle, um, being the top uh, as to where that midpoint is likely to be. It's then simply a case of keeping a very close eye out and seeing if there's likely a, can, likely to be a break in this key resistance at 7,000. Over the next few days we're likely to see some quite strong consolidation at or around this midpoint here at around about 6,900, 6,750, some, 6,850, somewhere around there. Uh, moving now on to the Dow. Dow is uh, a huge surprise in that it's broken through uh, a very strong resistance recently at um, at around about 12,750. We're likely to see a period of consolidation or, or, or relatively light trading for the next day or so, but that could change very quickly indeed. We do have points of, if we just look across here, we do have um, points that are likely to cause a bit of a slowdown at 1300. Um, so there's likely to be a period of quite tight consolidation between almost the top of this this resistance here at 12 12600, but an even higher at 12750, with a, a quite tight consolidation between that range. As soon as we get that break in that 1300, and we have had some very strong bullish moves recently. Um, that sort of buck the trend of the recent sort of c current doom and gloom of the markets, we're likely to see a real breakout. If we see the breakout at 1300, that's a very strong positive sign, and um, you can almost guarantee you're going to see some news at around about that point. Um, so we'll move now on to the FTSE. FTSE not as impressive as the as the, as the Dow, but reaching a strong point of resistant resistance at 6100 very strong possibility of that breaking. If it does break, the only problem with the FTSE is that there's a very strong period of consolidation. It has been very bullish though recently with moves from 5400 in the last uh, month or so um, 
up to around about six one hundred. So there's the, there's a possibility here of a real return to some some quite strong bullish moves. Um, we need to see a real break in this six one hundred, and then ideally a break above six two hundred um, to to look to 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 be able to break away from this consolidation. It's this consolidation here that's going to cause some problems, not massive problems, because um, we've seen stronger consolidations recently that the the FTSE has managed to break through. It just needs to break through this resistance at six one hundred. If it does so then we're going to see some very strong moves and that's going to bring some strong bullish um, excitement um, to to the market so we're, we're likely um, it's it's a good idea to keep a very close eye out on the FTSE there. The Nasdaq uh, interesting in, in that we've got some gaps in the market markets opened very high up broke above 1900 um, possibility of a slight bit of consolidation between 1900 and 1950 um, but uh, it's very strong bullish moves with with the, the Nasdaq look for it to follow the lead of the Dow um, as always finally moving on to the Nick once again very strong bullish moves with the Nick seeing some, some quite considerable returns now um, bounce from a low of around about 11,000 to 11,500 strong bullish moves gaps in the market which show that the pre-market auction um, has been very strong indeed now reaching a resistance so just beneath around about 13,900 the looking at the intraday data, it's slackening off a little bit, but we do need to see a real break in this, um, around about 13,900 to 14,000. If we get that, it's going to be very strong indeed, and there's a very strong chance that we're not going to see this slow down before we reach 15,000. Um, and there's a very strong possibility of it even looking to break the current trend. We've got the moving averages starting to turn, but um, it's heading towards the 200-day moving average, which is the true point of a break in the trend, and becomes a, and the 200-day moving average is such a strong long-term uh, resistance um, that if it manages to break that, that's a real sign of a possible turn in the current markets. Um, if we look to at, at many of the others, the the, per, the blue pale blue line is where the 200-day moving average is, and we're starting to get quite close to these if we just click through them especially with the Dow although it has been consolidating recently <coughs> uh, we're, we're starting to see it reach that 200 day moving average same two for the FTSE and same two for the NASDAQ you have to bear in mind of course that the more it consolidates the more the moving averages tend to bunch together so when that tends to happen, moving averages tend to be ignored a little bit more than they would if it was trending. But the 200-day moving average is such a long-term uh, point of um, changes in trend that the institutions use to gauge whether that trend has actually turned or not. So that's this week's Tech A video newsletter on the 21st of April. 2008. We'll be back next week, next Monday, with another newsletter, an update on what's happened, and an, and an overview of what's likely to happen over the following week. So be sure to visit uh, www.insightsupport.com, I N S I G H T S U P P O R T dot com, uh, to learn more about our courses and um, join our free course. My name's Stu Wisson, and thanks for watching.